Richard, what would be your enterprise excellence two-minute tip in this area of expertise? You know, how to create a culture of continuous improvement and innovation? I think the biggest tip is you've got to become the change that you want to see, which sounds a little bit cliched, but I'd say it was a truism. If you want something different to happen, you've got to embody that as a senior leader. And you have to advocate for the fact that that's what you want to see happening, both championing it, you're talking to it, taking every opportunity to reinforce the message of what's most important and what we want to see happening. The simplistic message is if you want to see behavioral and cultural change, you have to embody that yourself. You literally have to turn up every day and do differently because the thing that happens with senior leaders is you are permanently on stage. Everybody sees you all of the time. And the secret whispered conversation you thought you had in private is company-wide knowledge within a matter of hours. It's just the way it is. And it's because everybody is watching all the time. And as humans, we're, we're experts at, at looking for and, and deciding what someone's body language is telling us, right? Whether it's right or wrong, does not matter? If you see someone pointing and with a red face and in a heated discussion, and yet you're driving for a culture of, you know, fair challenge and, uh, and I'm looking for people to bring new perspectives and so on, it's kind of incongruent. So we have to be 100% on this is how we want things to be and embody it and drive it ourselves. And to do that, you have to really have a think about how am I going to communicate that? What are the few words I'm going to use? What's the example I'm going to use? How am I going to compel in that way? Um, and I think that probably takes up the two-minute journey to the top. Yeah, nice.